obviously they were probably going to fall off a little bit in the second half. Can't sustain that. Trojans in gold uniforms tonight. Burgundy numbers and letters outlined in white. And the Cumberland County Panthers down to her left. They're home white with green numbers and letters. Mind you, you're listening to our broadcast on Nash Icon 103.7 WHHT, Cave City, Bowling Green, Glasgow. And on the internet at ESPNKY.com. Also at BarronSchools.com slash athletics. Anytime you want to find out a school from JV to varsity, any spirit at all, and uh, you can find that on our website. Go to BarronSchools.com, click on athletics, and click on the school board. Also, congratulations to Samantha Endicott. She was the 10th place, or finished in 10th place, in the state bowling uh, tournament up in Lexington. Outstanding. Had a, Rosen Tolan had a great year this year at Barron County. Great job. Trojans moving right to left here in the first half. Cumberland County coming left to right. Trojans with Wade Coomer, Jared Coomer, Nick Mabe, Gavin Driver, and Prince in London. You know, I'm sure Coach Cunningham's talked to the guys about the start. You know, we didn't get off to a great start last night against Russell County, so I'm sure he's emphasized probably in the shoot around today and in the uh, pregame talk about uh, getting off to a little better start here tonight. Yeah, and the rebounding was a big, big difference last night. Okay. Second chance points for Russell County. I think me and him talked just a little bit before the game. It was a difference, I think, last night. In the jump circle for the Cumberland County Panthers is Elijah Anderson. Barry Vincent will toss it up. And here we go. It's going to be controlled by the Trojans. Nick Mabe working between two defenders and the Panthers. Now heads up the baseline, kicks it in the lane there to Driver, and he lays it in. Quickly on the scoreboard, the Trojans, six seconds into the contest. Anderson with a basketball for Cumberland County. Picks up this dribble, goes left side to Young. Young bounces it out over the left side now to Overbay. Overbay splits the defenders, and we've got a whistle and a reach-in foul against Barron County. Going to put this one on Brands in London. His first, team's first. Something about the possession there. I believe they got it right there. Yeah. Should be White's ball. Yeah. I think they had it uh, the other way. Anderson with it out front for Cumberland County. Goes right side with it to Flowers. Flowers wants to drive. He's got off by May. Well, he'll hand it off over there to Dubry. Back on the baseline. They kick it back out. Top of the key. Good ball. Moving there with the Panthers. Anderson on the left wing. Dumps it down in low. There to Flowers. And the shot goes up. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. Jared Cooper underneath the Cumberland County basket. Gives it off to London. London bounces over to May out front. He's going to set it up here. Back out to London. And now London playing the point. Goes over to May by the right side. Lots a screen right there set, but doesn't get it. Now London has it. Back left side to Wade Coomer. Wade Coomer getting some pressure from Flowers. He'll throw it back out to London. And I don't know if they know what they're running out there or not. Well, it looks like Cullen County's a little 3-2 there, Jay, and we're not getting much movement on the interior. And there's a pass going to May, but he missed it on the alley-oop. On the back door, and here comes Flowers with it for Cumberland County behind the back pass. Going over to Overbay, and he travels. Mason Perkins going to check into the Trojan lineup. 5'11", 168, a senior. Coming in for Jared Coomer. Like you said, Jay, a little confusion on our mm -hmm. part to know what to do against the 3-2 here from uh, Cumberland County. So hopefully we've got that right away. Nick Mabe with it out front for the Trojans. Sends it over to Wade Coomer. Back to Mabe. Mabe in the corner of London. Bluffs the three. Throws it back out to Wade Coomer. Long distance. Three. No good. Batted up in the air by London, but taken in there by Flowers for Cumberland County. We're working up court. Now Dagger to pass off the left side to Overbay. Overbay pulls up, can't shoot. Anderson will. Left wing three is no good. Rebound taken off by Branson London. London pushing it down the floor right side. Fires it down to drive on the end line. Throws it there to Perkins. Banks it in. Off the glass as Driver was falling out of bounds underneath the Barron County bucket. And almost a steal there by Wade Cooner. And a bad pass in the lane. London's got it for the Trojans. Deals it off to Driver. He drugs his drags his pivot foot and it'll go back to Cumberland County. Kind of lost his balance there. Well, and not a real good pass there from uh, London there behind Gavin. He had to kind of reel it in there and he didn't uh, didn't get the feet squared away, Jack. 5.48 to play here in the first quarter. Barron County with a 4-0 lead. Flowers to the basketball. Anderson on the near side. They go down to Overbay. Overbay will circle it out. Got some pressure there, but 
Goes back in the corner to Anderson. Anderson jump pass, free throw line shot is no good. By Young and rebound to Barron County. Nick made time of the key, a little stutter step. Goes in traffic, puts it up, puts no good, got a blocking foul. This is going to be on Flowers. And Flowers is first. Cumberland County's first. Nick made to the line for two. 72.5% free throw shooter on the season. Averaging 14 points, 5.5 rebounds a game. First shot's good. 5 nothing Trojans. Made for the second toss on the way. Got them both. 6 nothing Barron County. As Flowers will bring it up for Cumberland County. Now we've got a one trying to figure out the trying to tramp here on the near side. It didn't get anything going there. We've got a whistle and a charging foul. Flowers charging into Branson London. And that's two on Flowers. So Coach Overbay uh, having to bring in uh, number 32. That's Levi Owens, a 5'11 junior, averaging 8.3 points, 6.2 rebounds. And Nathan Dyer, 6'0 junior, 5 points, 5 rebounds a game. Nick May with it for the Trojans, 6-0. Barron County, London, straight away back over to Maid on the near side. Maid now looking, got a whistle away from the ball, and we got a foul on Gavin Driver. Trying to run the baseline there, uh, Wade was, and, and Jer or, uh, Gavin just not set with the screen there and, and got him with an illegal screen. Branson London checking out the game. Back in is Jared Coomer for Coach Warren Cunningham. And the ball knocked away out of bounds from Mason Perkins out of the hands of Owens. Stays with the Panthers as Overbay will toss it in. 4.55 to play, first quarter, 6 to nothing. Barron County lead, Anderson with a basketball, gives it to Dyer. cross court pass back out now to Owens. They go in the middle, and then they hook it back off to the right side around the perimeter. They go back in the middle there, and a reach-around foul. It'll be caught on Wade Cooner. So he kind of reached around Noah Young there, and on Wade, that'll be his first, team's third. Cumberland County basketball. As they get it inbounds in the corner, back to Overbay. Outside of Dyer, and he took one step and travels. It looks like we're in a little half court, one, two, two, Jay, and we're trapping hard and giving them a lot of trouble. They're, you know, we're anticipating getting the passing lane really well, and they're, they're having trouble making any kind of adjustment yeah. to it. Nick made over to Wade Cooner on the right side. Down in the corner, Jared Cooner. Dumps it in there to Driver in traffic. Puts it up and in off the window. Gavin Driver is second. People's Bank bank shot. 8 nothing Trojans. Out of the corner, a three for the Panthers. It's no good for Overbay. Russell on the rebound. And we've got a foul call. And it's going to be charged too. Mason Perkins, his first, team's fourth. Here's a shot of the baseline, comes out of there, halfway down and came out. And Wade Coomer with a basketball for Barron County, gives it off to Maine. Good luck. Underneath to Jared Coomer, and he puts it up and in. 10 nothing Trojans. 3.58 to play, first quarter. Levi Owens over to Dyer, they give it to Overboat, back to Dyer, long range left, back out now to Owens. Owens on the good on the near side. Now comes out to the middle in between the circles. Bounces to Anderson. Anderson back down to the corner now to Young. Yeah, Young. Bad pass. And in the lane, driver's got it for Barron. Gives it off to Nick May. Mabe. Off to Wade Cooper in the corner. Perkins, three-pointer is blocked. And saved in bounds. Driver's got it though for Barron. In traffic, he'll put it in. Gavin Driver with a six point, 12 to nothing. Trojans at a timeout by Scott Overbay. 30 second timeout, Trojans have jumped out to a 12-0 lead here. 
Well, right now everything's coming really hard for Cumberland County offensively down here, and it's pretty much one and done. They've got one offensive rebound, I think, that last trip down. So uh, Trojan's doing a great job. When when Cumberland tries to screen, they're jumping, they're doubling the the, uh, the ball handler, and, and uh, defensively we've got it turned up a little bit more so tonight than we did last night, and just everything's coming really hard for them. And then transition-wise, when Nick puts you the ball, he gets other people involved, and I know that's what Coach Cunningham wants to do, get out and run the floor. So, so far... Uh, uh, looking real good for the Trojans. And yeah, Panthers just don't have a whole lot of height this year. They either. don't. They don't. And it's it's hard for them when you got kids like Jared and Gavin mm -hmm. and, and Wade closing out on you. Your confidence is, I can't get that shot up. So yeah. the length of Barron is, is giving uh, Cumming County a lot of trouble, Joe. Anderson with it for the Panthers. Sends it over to Dyer on the left side. Bounces in the corner, bringing it back out as Levi Owens. He being chased out of the team. They lose a handle. And here comes Jared Cooner on the run. Bounce pass across the lane, broken up by Anderson. Anderson throws a baseball pass down to Dyer. Dyer throws it back in there to Owens. Owens loses a handle. Jared Cooner trying to scoop it up off the floor, but taken back by Owens at the midcourt stripe. Overbay had a shot for three. Now Owens will fire for a three, and it's no good. Nick May with a rebound for the Trojans. May racing down the floor. Shovel pass in there to Perkins, and he lays it in. 14 to nothing. Barron County, 2.35 to play opening quarter. Anderson throws up a one-hand shot. It's short. Trying to get his own rebound. Trying to dig it out of there. Loose ball. Mabe's got it for the Trojans on the run. Feeds it off to Wade Cooner. Back to Mabe. Layup is good. Good ball movement there by Wade and Nick. 16 to nothing. Barron County with 2.18 to play in the opening quarter. And now they try to trap the ball. And it's knocked away. It's stolen by Mason Perkins. He'll feed it off to Driver and he'll lay it up and in. Eight points now for Driver, and it's 18 to nothing, Trojans. Two minutes to play in the opening quarter. Anderson with a basketball, with tie on the left side, they give it to Overbay, back down to Anderson, locked in there, but made, they're calling it a foul. And on Mabe, his first, that'll be the fifth Trojan foul. Two shots for Elijah Anderson, 73.3% free throw shooter. Second leading score for the Panthers on the year at 10.6 points a game. The free throw is good. Branson London back in the game for the Trojans. Also in is Chase Dial, 5'11", 177, a junior, and Tyler Mosby, 6'1", 190, and a sophomore. Anderson puts up the second shot, and it's good. In for Cumberland County is Josh Overbay, a 5'10 freshman. 18-2, a minute 50 to play in the first quarter. Nick Mabe with a basketball, with a dial on the left side, back out to Mabe. Mabe will try to penetrate, jump pass, left corner, Jared Cooner, back to dial. He'll shove it underneath to Mabe, and he lays it in. The extra pass there, Jay, just good ball moving by the Trojans, just uh, shooting a lot of layups right now. 20 to 2. Yeah, we've not even hit a three-point shot. Yeah. I don't think we've attempted maybe one. 20 to 2. Here's a pass inside to Dyer. Now back out to Owens. Or rather to Overbay. Three-pointer no good. Long rebound comes off to Jared Coomer. And here's Nick May with the basketball in the front court for the Trojans. Here's up top of the key over to London. Long range right. Back out to Mabe. Mabe now sends it back over to London to the right wing. They go into Mosby in the corner. Jared Coomer, three-pointer way short. London underneath the basket. Ball's going to be kicked out of bounds by Josh Overbay. So the Trojans will get it back with 55.7 to go here in the quarter, leading 20 to 2. Nick Mabe in the corner to London. Out to Dial. Dial feeds to Mabe. Pump fake. Dumps it. Trying to dump it down there to Jared Cooner. who's deflected. London over to the corner to get it. He'll throw it back out to Dial. Straight away over to Mabe. Long three. Good for Nick Mabe. His ninth point of the quarter. It's 23 to 2. Anderson with the basketball. Gives to Young. Young free to line. Pump fake. Sends it back off the right side to Josh over Bay. Back over to Scotty over Bay. Now Anderson with it. Reverses back left. He'll get it back to over Bay. Shoots out a corner for three. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by London. 21 seconds to go in the quarter. Trojans probably hold it for one here. Nick May with the basketball. We'll bring it across the midcourt strike. Down to 10 seconds. Down to eight. Down to six. Mabe off the screen right. He'll jump it up from 12. It banks off. No good. 
Rebound tapped over the air, pulled back down, and couldn't get off with another shot before the buzzer. That ends the first quarter with a score. Barron County 23, Cumberland County 2. We'll come back with a second quarter after this break. This is Trojan Basketball on 1037, Nash Icon. Guys, I'll applaud you are in a happy camper. Oh, man, it's badge of awesomeness. Go back to the part of you that wants to put the recreation in recreational vehicles. The part of you that backs up everything and everybody in the RV and says, let's get this show on the road. Because GEICO has specialized agents who help save money on more than just car insurance. GEICO will insure that entire RV. So you can get those more making, poison ivy dodging, same song singing, ghost storytelling, campfire building, best time you ever had with your family. Show on the road. GEICO for your RV. See how much you could save. No, no, when the temperature starts to drop, it helps to have a legend under the hood. No, not the kind that swings a giant axe and enjoys the camaraderie of oversized cattle. We're talking Napa Legend and Legend Premium Batteries. Buy one today, and you'll get up to a $20 prepaid Visa card by mail. That's $20 back, and the comfort of knowing you're riding along with a real legend. That's Napa Know How. <laughs> participating Napa Auto Parts stores, while supplies last. Offer expires 229.16. You're listening to Barron County Sports on 137 Nash Icon. This is Trojan Head Football Coach Jeff Griffith. We are BC. Live with Coach Daryl Murphy, Jay Turner here in Berksville, Trojans 23, the Panthers 2 as we start the second quarter. Panthers were 0 of 8, the first quarter, Barron County 10 of 15. Down in low over Bay, got a whistle, blocking foul on Branson London, and that's going to be his second, team's sixth of the half. And uh, Wade Coomer has started his second quarter, and Nick May will come in to replace London. Ball comes in the corner to Anderson. One dribble out to Young. And now Young on the dribble, trying to put a trade in the lane. Pulls up with a jumper. Good. First field goal of the night for Cumberland County. It's 23 to 4. Nick made with the basketball, trying to the key. Gives it over now to Wade Kumar. They go to driver. In traffic. Mosby puts it up. Good and a foul. Foul is going to be charged to Anderson. That is his first, team's third of the first half. And Mosby at the line to try to complete an old-fashioned three-point play. A couple of stats that jump out at me. The Trojans had uh, seven assists in that first quarter, yeah. and they uh, made Cumberland commit ten turnovers. 25 to 4. Here's May with a basketball. Chumper, 17 footer, rims. All we're going to say offensive goal to the driver. Had his hand up there. I think the ball might have got in, but well, it, I, I think it was going to go in, mm -hmm. and, and Gavin just got a fingertip on it. Cumberland County with a basketball. They give it to Young. Young is in a trap now. Being pressured, trying to get it out of it. Splits the defenders. Hooks it off the left side corner to Anderson. Fakes, drives, spins. Goes up with a shot. It is no good. Rebound put back up and no good. Right open shot there for uh, uh, Young. And here's Barron County with a basketball made. Top of the key. Gives it off to Chase Dial. The corner to Wade Coomer. Wade Coomer now gives it down there to Mosby. Out to Dial. He'll fire for three. It's no good. Rebound comes off to Josh over there for Cumberland County. Scotty over there on the left side. Out to Anderson. Back to Scotty over there. In the left corner, here's Young. Young's in the trap. Bounces in there. Throw over there. Underneath the dire. Had it stripped away by uh, Driver. And here comes Nick May with it for the Trojans. Gives to Wade Coomer. He got a smack to his hands by Overbay. Gets it back. There dribbles. Steps back. Shoots a long three. That's an air ball. And then Driver saves it and bounds. And May is there to put it off the window and in. A lot of hustle there by Gavin not to give up on that ball there and making an easy basket. 28 to 4. With six minutes to play here in the first half. Shove a pass in there to Dyer on the baseline. Back out to Scotty over there. He'll give it out to Josh over there. Now over to Anderson on the near side. Anderson with a crossover move against Mosby. Goes down low, spins, and a whistle and a traveling violation. Charge to Anderson. Mason Perkins and Jared Coomer returning to the Trojan lineup. And back in for Cumberland County now is uh, Levi Owens. And also in the game, Lane Dubry. 28 to 4. Barron County 5.44 to play here in the first half. Nick May with a basketball for the Trojans. Straight away over to Wade Coomer, the middle of the driver. He'll fire it down to Jared Coomer. Baseline Perkins. Shot rejected by Owens and out of bounds. 
Well, Coach Cunningham said it, said it right there. Once Mason, the ball fake, get that player up in the air and he go behind. The Trojans ball down to our left in front of Cumberland County bench. Comes out to Perkins, and it's stolen away to Levi Owens. He tried to bounce it back to Mabe. And here's Owens with it out front between the circles for Cumberland County. Left side, Scotty Overbay down to Dyer, and Dyer is going to be fouled by Wade Cooner. That's going to be his second, and Trojan seventh of the half. And go to the line, Nathan Dyer, 54.5% free throw shooter. So Wade Coomer is going to go to the bench with those two fouls, replaced by Parker Stevens, 5'11", 141 a sophomore. Dyer puts it up, and it is no good. Rebound to Jared Cooner. Here's Nick May with it, top of the key. May backs away. Anderson, up the line pressure, gives it over to Stevens. Stevens on the left side, bounces back over to May for the 17 footer, that's no good. Perkins trying to get the offensive rebound and he's gonna be fouled by Dyer. His first, team's fourth. And Barron County's basketball underneath, Nick May will toss it in with five minutes to play here in the second quarter. In the corner, Parker Stevens. He'll send it out to Perkins and around it goes the right side to Jared Coomer. Back out to Stevens. Stevens on the dribble. Now sends it over on the near side to Nick Mabe. And then a high post there to Driver. Back to Nick Mabe. Back out to Stevens. They go down to the corner. Jared Coomer. No good. Missed it badly. Air ball. Yeah, they set the top of the backboard and kind of ricocheted off. <laughs> kind of banked off the uh -huh. side of the glass there, Jim. 28 to 4. Dyer with it. The Cumberland County on trap, throws it over to Scotty Overbay. He'll set it up at 425. Anderson with it, long range left. They give to Owens. Owens now in a trap. He's in trouble. Started away by Jared Coomer. Jared Coomer dishes it off to May. Now to Driver, and he lays it up and in and draws a foul. He tried to dunk it. A nice play by the Trojans in the transition. Looks like Gavin a little shook up there, Jay. A little contact there on the, yeah. on the physical play at the rim. They did count the basket, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And the foul was on um, Owens of Cumberland County. His uh, first, that'll be the Panthers' fifth of the half. And Gavin Driver, 75% free throw shooter. He's got 10 points here in this half, eight in the first quarter. His free throw goes up, and it's good. And it's a 31 to four. Barron County lead with 4-14 to play here in the second quarter. Anderson with basketball for Cumberland County. Sends over to Scotty Overbay. Overbay will bring it out against Parker Stevens. Directing traffic here, trying to get the offense set up. Dyer with it on the left side. Dyer puts down the dribble, sends it straight away to Anderson. Anderson now puts down the dribble. He'll head over to the left side, gives it off to Dyer. Dyer now gives to Young. He's had it trapped and stolen away by Nick Mabe. Mabe pushing it down the floor, trying to wrap around pass there. Hits uh, Dubry and goes out of bounds. I think what Coach Cunningham wants Nick to do is go ahead. Nick's trying to get everybody involved offensively, but Coach Cunningham wants him to go ahead in the rim there and shoot that ball himself. Driver gets the ball in play to May. Back into Driver, up and under shot. Nice fake. Shot goes in. We've got a foul called against the Panthers. Good move by Gavin right there to secure the ball. And then a little, I, we're obviously a lot bigger than they are on the post, but still he's having an opportunity to work on some moves and, and footwork that he'll need uh, come district tournament time. Yeah. Noah Young commits his first personal at six on Cumberland County. Free throws good for Driver. And now he has 14 here in the first half. The Trojans lead 33 to four. 336 to play here in the first half. Scotty Overbay with it for Cumberland County. Over to Dyer on the left side. Gets it down there to Dubry. He's in a trap. Bounces back to Dyer. Turns and fires and hits. On the left baseline. Kind of falling away. And it's 33 to 6. Perkins will fire for a three. It's off the back iron. Jared Coomer trying to get the rebound. Trying to save the bounce. Scramble on the end line. And jump Powell with a possession arrow to lead back to the Trojans underneath. The second quarter is brought to you by Joseph A. Wade, your maintenance hardware specialist. Driver gets it inbounds to Mabe, out to Stevens. Stevens back to Mabe in that corner. Hooks it in there to Driver. Turn around, jump shot from 10. He won't go. Ball slapped out, whistle, foul on Mason Perkins. 
His second team's eighth. And Tyler Mosby returns to the Trojan lineup. Perkins will go out. At the line for Cumberland County, Noah Young, 65% free throw shooter, 5'10 senior. There's three seniors on this Cumberland County team this year. Free throw is good for Young. Young, Flowers, and Dubry are the three seniors, I believe, on the roster. 33 to 7, and this shot goes up and in. For Young, makes it 33 to 8. 3.05 left to go here in the first half. Stevens with the basketball on the right side. Straight away off to Jared Coomer in the corner to Mabe. Mabe trying to turn up court and on the baseline slapped away. Trying to force it in there to Driver. And here's Dyer with it. Giving it off out front now to Young. They'll hand it behind him to Anderson. Anderson on the dribble trying to drive. Into the key. We're back away now. A 2.40 to play in the second quarter. Over it goes Scotty Overbay. Overbay guarded after the Stevens. They set a screen for him and we got a whistle. Traveling violation as Driver and Stevens came over to trap Overbay and Overbay called for steps. That little trap there on those screens have given them a lot of trouble this first half, Jay. They've turned it over numerous times out of that pressure defense. Good bounce pass comes to Stevens. Over on the left side, gives it out to Mabe. Top of the key, gets a screen from Mosby. Drives in traffic, gives to Jared Coomer. On the right side, out to Stevens. Penetrating, runner on the lane, no good. Rebound taken in there by, uh, I believe that is Young, with a rebound from Cumberland County. 2.10 left to play here in the first half. It is 33-8. Anderson gets it in there to Young. In traffic, pump fake, puts it up. It is good. Good move. Got, got Jared out of position there with the pump fake and then uh, finished that shot off. He's got six of the ten points for Cumberland County here in the first half. 33 to 10. Mosby's got it. He's trapped. They take it away from him. And then they lose it on the end line, but apparently his last touch by the Trojans. So Cumberland County will get the basketball. The minute 47 to play here in the second period. In the game now for Barron County is Will Bandy, 6'5", 190, an eighth grader. And also coming back in for the Trojans is Chase Dial. Cumberland County basketball. Scotty Overbay with it for the Panthers. Right now, Anderson working the right side. Gives it down to Dubry. He loses a handle. Phil Cooper tried to scoop it up off the floor. And we've got a foul call. And it will be on Dubry. His first, team seven. Puts the Trojans in the bonus for the main 133 of the first half. Jared Coomer at the line, 74% shooter. Knocked down a field goal in the first period. Shot goes up and it's good. Makes it 34 to 10. And the bonus try rims off. And Dyer saves it in bounds, but Jared Coomer there to get it. Bounce pass intended for Bandy down low. He wasn't looking for it. And Dyer comes up with it for Cumberland County. Bounce pass off to Anderson out front. A minute 20 to play in the first half. Scotty over there with it on the left side. Gives it off to Young. It's started away by Nick Mabe. Out in front of everybody. Goes to the basket. Lays it up and in. Oh! Undercut there by, I believe that was Young. That came in under, undercut Nick Mabe. He went to the floor pretty hard there. Young second. Team's eighth. Mabe is 13 point and a half. He'll have one. On the way, and it comes off. Rebound, Bandy back up, blocked. Loose ball on the floor. Scrambling for it, and Jed Paul with a possession error going to Cumberland County. Run away to play here in the first half. Trojans up by a score of 36 to 10. Here's Anderson with it for Cumberland County. Over to Scotty, over there on the right side. We'll circle it up to set it up. 57 seconds, Dyer in the corner to Anderson. Try to go baseline, cut out by Mabe. And apparently he stepped on the inline line down there in the corner. I think he dribbled it off his foot there. Good, good pressure by Nick there to get him, uh, get him in a bad situation. The Trojans with the basketball. 
49 seconds to play here in the first half. May bounces it out to Jared Coomer. Bounce pass over to Dio. Dio will throw it back across. Goes through the hands of May, but out of bounds. During our halftime break, we'll take a look at the Coca-Cola scoreboard. Find out some of the other scores from around the region tonight. 36 to 10, and ball slapped by Maven out of bounds. It'll stay with the Panthers with 33 and a half seconds to go. Scotty Overbay gets it inbounds to Derby, hands it now to Levi Owens. Owens gives it over to Overbay. Left side Dyer. And back to Overbay in the left corner, lets it go for three. No. And then Anderson throws it back up, no good. And Boudry puts it back up and in. Second chance opportunity for Covington County. 36 to 12 with 10 seconds to go here in the first half. Made with the basketball, gets a screen from Bandy. Boudry's left side, cuts back right. He'll try to bounce it underneath, and here's Jerry Cooner lays it up. It's no good, but he draws a foul with two tenths of a second to go here in the first half. Good look, the ball entered at the high post there, and then we had a good bounce pass to, to Jared. Just need to finish those, you know. I think he, as he gets bigger and stronger, he will. That that's, needs to be an end one situation. Shot goes up. It's good for Jared Cooner. That's his fourth point of the game. 37 to 12. It was 23 to 2 at the end of the first quarter, and Jared Coomer hits both to make it 38 to 12, and that will end the first half. And here at halftime, the Trojans lead 38 to 12 over Cumberland. He understands the situation here tonight. Well, Gavin Driver and Nick Mabe have combined for 27 of Barron County's 38 first half points. Driver 14, Mabe 13, and uh, Jared Coomer had five. Mason Perkins four. Tyler Mosby two points. And it's Barron County's basketball as we start the third quarter. Brought to you by Glass Aggregate. Same name serving this community for over a quarter of a century. Nick Mabel the basketball alley. He passed a driver who puts it in. Pulled it down and then put it up and in. The driver gets a 16th play. A little bit behind him there. He secured it and went up for the shot and made it. Ball batted up in the air off the missed shot by Anderson. But uh, offensive rebound by the Panthers. 40-12 to 12, Barron County. As Flowers has a basketball and it's smacked away and it's loose on the floor. Coming up with it is Jared Coomer trying to throw it to Brandon. He was laying on the floor. He couldn't, couldn't get to it. Nobody has to throw it. Uh, nobody has to go to. Here's Anderson putting up in the jumper. It's no good. Wade Coomer with a rebound for Barron. Wade Coomer leaves it with Jared Coomer. He'll throw it back out to Mabe and Mabe will set it up. Mabe sends it to the left side now to London. London, back to Mabe, top of the key. Over the right side, Wade Coomer. In the corner, Jared Coomer, right-hand side. Dumps it down in there to Driver, double team. Kicks it back out to London. Three in the air, no good. Rebound taken down by Anderson for Cumberland County. Here's Flowers in the front court. Throws it back over to Anderson. Anderson now leaves it with Young. Young will bring it out. He'll bounce it off in the lane. Here's Flowers, post up left of the lane. Tough shot over Mabe. And it's 40 to 14. London out to Wade Coomer in between the circles. Back to London of the back wing. London now sends it over now to Nick Mabe. Dumps it in there. Look, intended for Jared Coomer. I don't think he's looking for the pass. No, no he, he actually thought Nick was going to go up for the yeah. jump shot, I think. Turnover by Barrett. Covenant County with a basketball. It goes in the corner to Dubry. Dubry bounces in there to Young. Young works the basket. Pump that cue. He's hammered. Jared Cooner will be called with a foul. Last couple of trips down the Trojan, a little man-to-man -man defense, and the Panthers have uh, looked a little bit better offensively as far as, far as attacking the rim. Yeah, has, London's got some blood on his knee there. Yeah. Mason Perkins in for Branson London. Kind of a floor burn, I guess. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Maybe, maybe that last couple of trips down when he was on the floor yeah. and uh, Jared was trying to throw yeah. it to him. Shot missed off the second attempt. And it's 40 to 15. Barron County made for the basketball. Throws it out to Perkins. Perkins goes back to Mabel right wing. He'll go back to Perkins, left in a circle, and back to Mabe on the right. Feeds it in there to Wade Coomer, follow away shot, won't go. 
and off balance, and he's fouled there. He'll go to the free throw line. Coming to county foul on Lane Dupree, his first team's first of the second half. Defensively during the year, we, we've struggled a little bit against zone, uh, zone defenses, and, and Coach Cunningham is stressing we want more movement without the ball. A lot of times the zone will, will cause you to stand around and not get as much movement, obviously, as a man-to-man -man defense, and so Panthers obviously realize they can't match up to us, so they're playing with the zone, so it's an opportunity for us to work on that movement without the basketball here, just like Jared flashing out to get the ball in the paint. Second shot miss, he gets his own rebound, goes back up strong, good, and a foul. So Ray gets three points out of that trip and maybe get an extra point here if he can connect on the free throw. Well, that's just one of those situations, just go get it. You know, Wade, a little short on the free throw, realizes that he just goes and gets it strong to the rim and, and gets the end one situation. 43 to 15, Nathan Tyer checks into the Panther lineup here in the second half. And here's Wade Coomer's shot, it's good. 44-15, quickly down the floor, Flowers in the lane, jumper short, taken by Driver, outlet pass to Maid. Sends it back to Driver, in the lane, slashing to the basket, puts it up, it's no good, gets his own rebound, back up, no, tapped out, Cumberland County comes out of the basket on Anderson, had it poked away, and they got it back, he'll go to the basket, he'll put it up and he missed it, rebound, put back up, and good, there by Owens. 44-17. Mabe leaves it off a driver on the left side. Jumps it up from six. It's no good. Rebound. Foul. Going to be Jared Coomer coming over the back. And that is his second. Barron County second of the half. Just under five minutes to play. Here in the third. Trojans lead 44-17. Led 23-2 at the end of the first quarter. Anderson with the basketball, left side over the Flowers, fakes, drives, goes to the baseline, he's cut off, throws it back out for a three, Anderson, no, short, barely brushed the rim, Jared Coomer with the basketball for the Trojans, sends it off to Wade Coomer, Coomer, hooks it back off to Jared, he'll jump it up there short, rebound taken by Flowers. Kind of settling for some jump shots and we're running down, now we're going to the glass, the Panthers have actually outscored us by one. Yeah, we're trying to dig it out of there as Jared Coomer jump ball. Possession arrow to the Panthers. 4.22 to play here in the third quarter. Trojans 44, the Panthers 17. Here's Owens, gets it out to Dyer at the left elbow. Batted away, stolen by Perkins. Perkins will drive the bucket, had it blocked out of bounds by Anderson and out of bounds. Branson London back in the game now with his knee taped up. Jared Cooner will take a rest. Ball comes out to Mabe. Here's Wade Cooner out of the corner for three. Swish. He just can't give Wade that kind of separation, get his feet square. He's just too good of a shooter. Uh, seven of his points here in the third quarter. 30-point lead now for the Trojans. It matches their longest of the game. Flowers from the basketball. Dumps it over to Anderson. He'll fire it up for a three, and it's good. Anderson with his, only his first field goal tonight. He had a couple of free throws in that first quarter. Looping pass left side over to London. 47 to 20. Baron County. May with it on the right side. He'll bring it back out. He'll go to Perkins with it on the right wing. Back out to May. Three and a half minutes to play. May right side over to Coomer. It's Wade. Back out now to Nick May. Left side over to Perkins. Perkins now. Cross for a pass. Wade Coomer, another three ball short underneath, and Driver's there to get it and stick it in. Nice job of Gavin right there, not taking his eye off of that ball and getting the offensive put back. He's got 18 in the game, and it's 49 to 20. Tyner Rudy on the right side, leaves it with Anderson, quick trigger three, short, rebound to Branson London. Gives it off to Nick May. May brings it up on the left side, bounces back over to London. London now feeds it off to Coomer in the corner. This driver couldn't, couldn't hang out of the basketball. It's kind of tipped around there. Here's Flowers with the ball for Cumberland County. Gets it off left side to Owens. Now Scotty Overbay with it. Circles it out, gives it back to Flowers. 2.36 to play here in the third quarter. Flowers off the left side to Owens. Owens circles out, trying to cut back left. He's cut out by Mabe. Throws it out there to Dyer. Now leaves it with Overbay out near midcourt. 
over Bay. Back over now to the right side, Anderson. Anderson on the dribble. Spits the defenders, Whistler, and got a foul. And this will be on Mason Perkins. Three on him, three on the Trojans here in the second half. It'll be Cumberland County's basketball. Scotty over there, they'll toss it in right side of the Cumberland County bucket. They get it in there to Anderson, they're just blocked. Got it back there, they push it in. Stayed with it there. Trojans kind of fell asleep a little bit. 49-22. Wade Coomer with it on the right side. Sends it back off to Mabe, top of the circle. Mabe, back to Wade Coomer. Feeds in the middle of the driver. Bounce pass in the corner to London. Back to Wade Coomer. Gives it to Mabe. Steps back behind the arc for three. It's short. Long rebound comes off to Flowers for Cumberland County. You know, Scotty Overbay, the leading scorer for the Panthers, has not scored. Here's yeah. Anderson for three, and it's short. Rebound by London. London bringing it up court for the Trojans. He'll give it off to Perkins in the corner. Back out to London. London now goes back to Nick Mabe, long range left, back out front to London, bounces off to Wade Coomer in the middle of the driver, turns, gives it a baseline, Perkins puts it up and in. Good pass by Gavin there in the high post, see Mason cutting the baseline. Six points for Mason Perkins, it's 51-22. Owens, bounce pass over to Scotty Overbay on the right side. Overbay on the dribble, brings it back out front, bounces it off to Dyer, goes left side to Owens. Owens now on the dribble, and is swatted away by Perkins, but picked up by Flowers. Cross court pass over to Dyer, the right wing, bounces down in the corner now. Here's Levi Owens. Will step back, shoot an 18-footer, that's in and out. Rebound taken by Gavin Driver. He'll give it off to London, 49 seconds to play here in the third. London trying to split the defenders, got away with a the rock there, and here comes Owens with it for the Panthers. Driving, and he lost it underneath the basket and out of bounds. Goes to the Trojans. Good hustle on uh, Nick's part there, not to give up on that situation. Sprint down the floor and get a deflection off of Cumlin. Tyler Mosby checking back into the Trojan lineup with 36.8 seconds to play. Nick made with the basketball for Barrett. Crosses midcourt stripe, 30 seconds left. And he must have stepped back into the backcourt. And so an open back call against the Trojans with 27 seconds to play here in the third quarter. And here's Flowers working against Mosby. Throws it off the left corner to Owens. Owens will bring it out. And now hooks it back. It's picked off and stolen by Wade Coomer. Baseball's a down to driver. In traffic. Puts it up. It's no good, but a foul. Good pass by Wade there to hit Gavin in stride, in traffic. And Gavin's got some really good hands, fills that ball in, and, and uh, almost gets an and one situation. Final is on Anderson, number two on him. Third of a half against the Panthers. Driver at the line, the free throw is good. He's three out of three, he's got 19 points in the game. Lead back up to 30, 52 to 22. Mabe's gonna get a break here, Chase Dial in. And Gavin Driver back at the cherry line. A shot goes up and it runs good. 53-22. Now that is the largest lead of the night for Barron at 31. 13 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Flowers with a basketball. Gives it off to Owens. Down the corner to Dyer. Eight seconds to play. Dyer now looking. Out to Overbay. Overbay leaves it with Anderson. Back to Overbay. He'll fire it up for three. It is bouncing, bouncing off. And that ends the third quarter with a score of the Trojans 53. Cumberland County 22. We'll come back to the fourth quarter after this break. This is Trojan basketball at 103.7 Nash Icon. Oh, fresh powder. I'll get the tea. Oh, I can. Winter nasal congestion. Is it A, cold, B, sinus pressure, C, allergies? I'm not sure. For all of the above, the answer is D, Allegra D, a maximum strength decongestant plus a powerful non-drowsy antihistamine for 24 hours of relief. Feel better? Ah, yep. Feel like racing? <laughs> This winter, the answer is Allegra D. Look for Allegra D at the pharmacy counter. Use the directed. It's Macy's President's Day sale with 30 to 75% savings throughout the store. Just use your Macy's Carter savings pass and get an extra 10 to 20% off. Designer coats for her, 50% off. Macy's Carter's Fine jewelry, 40 to 60% off. Buy one bra, get the second for just $10. Men's dress shirts, buy one, get one free. And Charter Club Damask 
least 40% off. Right now at Macy's President's Day sale. Savings on sale and clearance rates and exclusions apply. You're listening to Barron County Sports on 1037 Nash Icon. This is Barron County School Superintendent Bo Matthews. Go Trojanets! Jay Turner, Coach Daryl Murphy back here in Birchville at Cumberland County. The Trojans lead 53-22 over the Panthers. We start in the fourth quarter. Brought to you by SCRTC, hometown people, big city service, cooperative values. London with it down front, gives to Wade Cooner. Wade wants to drive to the right side. And now leaves in the corner with Jared Cooner. Needs some help. He's covered up, throws it back out front to London, swings it back over the left side. Now Wade Cooner in the corner, baseball's over to London. London drives into the lane, throws up the runner. Goes down. Nice floating shot for Branson London. His first two of the ball game. It is 55-22. 7.27 rating. Levi Owens with it for Cumberland County. Brings it back out front against Chase Dial. Goes left side with it to Dyer. They go down in the corner to Anderson on the left-hand side. Anderson brings it halfway out. Here on the near side. And Jared Coomer, Chase Dial, Wade Coomer, and Branson London. Tyler Mosby starting the fourth quarter. Dyer leaves it over there with Scotty Overbay. He still hasn't scored in this game. Leading scorer for the Panthers on the season. 6.52 to play. And now here's Scotty Overbay with a top of the key. Goes to the right side. Anderson, punt pick three. Goes to baseline. Goes under. Puts it up too strong. And rebound on eight by Branson London. Jay Style with it on the right wing. Back out now to London with six and a half minutes to play. London going to the left side. Leaves it out there with Chase Dial. He works off the screen right in the corner. Wade Coomer for the three. No, it's an air ball. Dial with it for Cumberland County. Gives it off now to Anderson. Anderson sends it over to Dyer on the right side. Now throws it behind him to Owens. Owens goes back right side. Now the corner, Scotty over by the three. It is no good. Tipped off to Mosby on the rebound. Ray Cooner up court to Branson London. Drives strong to the bucket, and he's going to be fouled by Owens. His second. Cumberland County's fourth of the second half. With 5.51 remaining, Branson London will go to the free throw line. But first, we're going to have a timeout. Called by Cumberland County with 5.51 to play. 55-22 in favor of the Trojans. The Trojans led 23-2 at the end of the first quarter. 38-12 at halftime. 53-22 after three. Check out the latest Coca-Cola scoreboard. Of course, the Trojanettes winning earlier tonight, 60-45 over Cumberland County to give Coach Piper Lindsay her 10th win of the season. And, of course, we got a final score. Glasgow beating Cavana tonight, 58-53. Metcalf County on Tuesday. Last home game of the regular season. The first game will start at 6. It'll be homecoming, and those festivities will take place at halftime of the boys' game on Tuesday night. We'll go to Clinton County next Thursday. Free throw good for Branson London. Kind of making the uh, 16th district tour here yep. with uh, Russell last night, coming tonight, and then May Calf and Clinton uh, next week. 56 22, 5 51 to play. London puts it in the air and it's good. 57 22, and I believe that starts a running clock. Yeah, yeah, that does uh, yeah. start the 35 clock. point advantage. Anderson with the basketball, deals it down to Dyer on the baseline. They throw it back in there to Owens. Owens, free throw line, back left side over Bay, back out now to Anderson. He'll fire a three. No good. Rebound slapped away and saved in bounds. No, it's going to be Barron County's ball. Young tried to save it, but couldn't do so. Will Bandy checking into the Trojan lineup. So the Trojans now are Parker Stevens. Branson London, Chase Dial, Will Bandy, Tyler Mosby. Garrett Hardeman's going to check in at the next whistle. The 5.06 and the clock will run here in the fourth. Here's Bandy inside, shot blocked in there. And coming up with the basketball is Young for Cumberland County. Anderson, left side to Overbay. He'll circle out with it. 
Dr. Stevens trying to stay with him. Here's Owens giving it off in there to Young. In traffic, shot is up, and it's no good. Banked off the glass, tapped up, no good. Tapped again, no. And another offensive rebound, Young. Puts it up, it's no good. And rebound and over Will Bandy. Out of pass comes to Branson London. London on the left side. Baseball's it off to Bandy, right of the circle. Now to Dial, out to Stevens. 428 to play. Dial. Around the London. On the left side. Gives it in the corner now. As Dial splits the defender. Shot blocked in there by. Owens and Panthers run it back the other way as Overbay has it. Right side Anderson. Anderson fakes the three. Now goes in the corner. Owens will fire. He's wide open. Three. Good. Good looking. Uh, 57 to 25. And we got a scramble on the floor and a timeout call. As the ball is getting tied up there. Full timeout called with 4.01 to go. We come to County's basketball. The Trojans lead 57 to 25. Stay tuned with the post game report following the game. Brought to you by CPC Commodities. Proven in our farm. Made for yours. And we'll get Coach Cunningham with some comments. Brought to you by AF Crow and Sun Funeral Home. Well, Coach Cunningham in this time out, he didn't like what he saw the last couple of tricks. He got some young kids in there, but he, he, he realizes that they need to realize that in a short period of time, uh, they're going to be out there. We're, we're kind of heavy with seniors in the starting lineup, and he realizes this is an opportunity for these young guys to step into a varsity game, and uh, he's calling on them pretty hard here. Yep. Colton Thomas in the ball game, 6-2-170 a sophomore. Garrett Alderburn, 6'1", 150, a sophomore. Versus Will Bandy, Parker Stevens, to go into Dyer. He'll put it up, but it's no good. Battle for the rebound, and Bandy takes it for Barrett. Off to Stevens. Stevens brings it in front court, lays it off there with Chase Dyer. He heads down the lane, gets bumped, shot no good. And they're going to have two shots coming for Chase Dyer. The foul is on uh, Young, his third, team's fifth. And Chase Dial at the line for two shots. 5'11", Junior. Puts it up. No good. In and out. It's actually four on Young. Dial for one more. The hits on the way, and he got that one. That'll make it 59-25 to with 3.40 left to go in this game. Anderson with a basketball for Cumberland County. Works around the top of the key, wants to drive, spins the lane, goes under, puts good it up move. and in. That's a good move right there. Good. And that's his ninth point of the game. 58-27. 3-23 to play. Stevens with a basketball. Out front, gives it off to Dial. Dial now, crossover dribble, leaves in the corner with Thomas. Out to Bandy for the three-pointer, and it's good. Rear Bandy, the eighth grader at 6-5. Knocks it down from long range to make it 61-27. And here's Owens got up the baseline. One-handed shot off the glass and in for Levi Owens for his seventh point of the game. 61-29, 2.50 to play. Going to have Brandon Reed and Tyler Smith check into the game here in a moment for Coach Warren Cunningham. Bandy's got it. He'll go right side with it to Stevens. Stevens wants to drive. He's going to be fouled there. And it will be on, I believe it's on Young. If it is, that's five. Yeah, he was. So Young fouls all at nine points. Three, four goes, three to four. At the nine. Brandon Reed, 5'11", 135, a sophomore. And Tyler Smith, 6'2", 216, a sophomore in the game. Aaron County's basketball. Ball comes out to Alderburn with 2.22 remaining. Alderburn under the other, hands it off to Stevens. Stevens bounces <laughs> off there to Alderburn. Gets a screen from Smith. And he has it taken away from him by Levi Owens. Owens takes it right down the lane. Whistle. Going to have a blocking foul on Brandon Reed. His first, that's only the fourth Trojan foul of the second half. At the line, Levi Owens puts it up. It's no good off the front of the rim. Bolton Thomas coming back into the Trojan night up now. And he'll replace Parker Stevens.
Second shot, the Owens off the mark, rebound to Bandy. Garrett Edwin brings it up against Anderson. Takes it across, pulls up, free throw line shot, is going to come off the rim. Rebound to Covenant County, Flowers. Gives to Owens. Owens works it across against Arterburn, stops, throws it off in the left corner to Overbay. Overbay driving and loses a handle, loose ball underneath the basket. And I think it might have been on the end line, so Cumberland County will get it back. I think Overbay still looking for his first points. Still okay. looking for his first points. Here's Owens with it. He'll jump it back behind him to Anderson. Anderson now on the dribble. Anderson working to the left side, back right. He'll jump it out there to Owens. Owens will circle it out. He'll pull it up, shoot a three-point shot that's no good. Rebound to Dyer and knocked away. Kind of pinballed around there. And we got a shot going up and in. And a foul of the Trojans. Well, instead of securing the rebound there, we're just kind of packing it or punching around like you said. 61-31 and Owens at the line. Puts it up and it's going to come off. The rebound taken by Rear Bandy. Gives it off to Ardeburn. Ardeburn sends it off now to Breed. Brandon Reed in traffic, shot blocked in there, trying to go up with it. Taken by Owens behind the back dribble, off to the left side, drives, he'll throw up the shot, good. Owens with nine of his 11 points here in the fourth quarter. 61-28, 32 seconds to play. And on the other end, shot goes up and in for Will Bandy. His fifth point, 30 point lead, 63-33. Here's Overbay for three, and he finally got his points. Finally gets his first points tonight. Averaging almost 12 points a game. Ball gets away, loose on the floor. Diving forward, Tyler Smith gives to Bandy. Bandy across the lane. Reed lays it up and in. 65, 36. <laughs> Two seconds, one. Flowers, no good off the right side of the backboard. But I think we got a foul here called against Tyler Smith as the buzzer sounded. I think they're going to let him have two shots. The Flowers at the line for two. First one's no good. He'll have one more. Flowers.